everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I'm the author of the Glamorous French Housewife blog. You can find that link below. It's usually up top too. So today I am back with our weekly food haul. It's rather large. We needed quite a bit of stuff. So I know you usually don't see me in the beginning of these videos, but I thought I'd switch it up today. Say happy Sunday and um, tell you I hope you had a great weekend. And I hope that maybe some of my menu items will inspire you to maybe, you know, do a little more shopping this week and make a few more items yourself instead of just doing fast food, which including me, we're all like guilty of. So I'm going to take you through everything that I got today. I'm going to break it up. I'm going to do cold stuff in the beginning and then towards the end we'll do the stuff that's just the shelf stuff just because I got so much that I need to put away. You can see some of the stuff behind me, so if you want to see everything I got this week for our family um, to eat on for this week and probably, you know, well into next week too, just keep watching and I'll show you everything we got. So before I start going through everything, I'm going to tell you some of the meals that I have planned. These are not in any order just because things change. We eat out sometimes um, unexpectedly and sometimes I don't want to cook. So I don't really assign a day to these meals. I just say these are the upcoming meals. So barbecue pork with baked potatoes, like pork sandwiches, pulled pork sandwiches. Husband approved steak sandwiches and fries. I have that already on my channel. You can check that out. We're going to do a chicken bow tie pasta bake with salad and garlic bread. Meatloaf one night with mashed potatoes, gravy, and a veggie. French toast, bacon, and oranges. We're also going to be having um, gyros, um, beef gyros, if you will. And I also um, plan on having um, an Irish meal that I will explain more about in just a few minutes. So let me walk you through some of the stuff I got. So let's start with the meat first. I found this pork sirloin roast on sale. It was seven dollars and I'm, made, I'm going to make pulled pork with this and I'm sure we'll have plenty of leftovers and um, it was a wonderful price. I know Jackson's been wanting a cheeseburger. I really, you know, don't like making cheeseburgers a whole lot. But I got two of them. I figured I could make them for him any night we eat something that he doesn't necessarily like. So I got two of these gourmet bacon flavored cheddar burgers. So hopefully he likes those. For that chicken um, bow tie bake, I just got some of the boneless skinless chicken breast. Again, these were on sale. Um, the split breasts were not on sale, which, you know, are usually cheaper with more meat, but these, um, what were, was what was on sale, so I went ahead and just got a package of those. For the beef gyros, I like to take flank steak and marinate it, so I got that, and, um, I had the flanks or the gyro recipe on my blog, which I'll link right here if you're interested in seeing that. But that's what I'm going to be making, and I will be filming that along with the bow tie pasta, um, so you guys can see how we like them. I don't really care for lamb, so we make them with beef. We got the corned beef brisket for St. Patrick's Day. So this was a little more expensive. But I went ahead and got it. Um, I'm going to put it in the crock pot, show you guys in a different video, a wonderful Irish dinner. And I got the corned beef brisket for that. For the husband approved steak sandwiches, I just got some of this beef cube steak. We really love those sandwiches, so I got two so I can make a nice big batch. Um, for the night, we have French toast. I got some of this apple um, wood bacon that we get all the time. We love bacon in this family. Um, and then back this way, lunch meat. I just got a package of bologna. I know it's not the healthiest. It's just the thick cut, but we like it, and I like bologna. I just do. So I got a package of it. And then these are one of my favorite little treats. These are prosciuttos, and they're a little piece of mozzarella wrapped with prosciutto, and it's just divine, so I got those. 
from the produce, I got some of these lovely tomatoes. These look like the nicest tomatoes that they had. I got them for um, salads, gyros, and um, husband approved steak sandwiches. So I got three of those. Um, I also got some of these um, organic real sweet cherry tomatoes because they will go into um, the bow tie pasta. On the gyros and in our salads, we like cucumbers, so I just got one of these English cucumbers. I went ahead and got a larger one because I'm going to be using it in a couple different recipes. Um, I got some baby cut carrots to go with that beef brisket um, in the crock pot. Um, also in the chicken bow tie um, bake, there is broccoli, so I got um, this package of broccoli. It's just little broccoli florets that um, have already been cut. I just took some convenience. Um, I'm also going to be making some apple chips, so I went ahead and got three Granny Smith, but I needed one for my green smoothie that is going to be coming up, and then I got a couple Honey Crisp and a couple Red Delicious, and I'm going to use those on my mandolin, and we will, um, bake those in the oven and make some delicious apple chips. Um, I got this bag of oranges just because they look good, sounded good, and I love fresh oranges, so I got some of those. I decided I'd serve some, you know, just some orange slices up with our French toast that night. I also got four of these organic grapefruits, um, and I'm going to show you my everyday breakfast, which generally includes grapefruit. And I got some more organic bananas, um, because we're going to be making my, my grandmother's actually oatmeal banana chocolate chip breakfast cookie and I needed more bananas for that so I got some of those I got some baby spinach for a couple of different recipes I like to put this in my green smoothie and I'm also going to be putting some in the um, chicken bake the bow tie chicken bake um, because we're going to have salad one night I went ahead and got one of these Harvest Farms organic spring mixes and um, ice cream. I know that's kind of a leap to go, but ice cream. I got the ED Slow Churned Fudge Tracks for my husband. He loves it. My grocery store doesn't always have organic milk. They run out quite often, but they had it today, so I got one of those. These last longer. The shelf life on organic milk is much longer than just regular milk, so keep that in mind if you go through, um, you know, if you find yourself throwing away a lot of milk that you haven't drank. I got one of these Lighthouse Yogurt Ranch dressings. Um, if you look at that recipe for the gyros, this is the kind of um, sauce I like to use. I add a little bit of dill to it. Will you get down? So I got that for that meal. I also got a heavy whipping cream. This is the Horizon Organic, and that is also for the chicken bake, the chicken bow tie. I saw these eggs for the first time in my grocery store. These are the Lando Lakes All Natural Grade A Brown Farm Fresh Eggs. Um, no antibiotics, hormones, animal fat, or animal byproducts. I just thought they looked nice. I haven't tried this brand yet, so I went ahead and got it just, you know, to see if I like these eggs as much as I like the Eglins. Eglins best, that is. And then frozen food-wise, I got um, a large package of tater tots because we go through them so often so much So this is definitely three or four meals worth. I also got some frozen garlic bread just for convenience um, And then I got me two of the Stouffer's meals for a quick lunch one day or maybe even a quick dinner if you know I decide I'm not cooking and I need to find something fast and then over here I have got some more butter. This is the Horizon Organic Salted Butter. I'm not worried too much about unsalted. We don't really watch our sodium here very much. And then I got two bags of these um, organic blueberries and raspberries. I got those for my smoothie. Um, and then I bought this large bag of shredded mozzarella. Now, I don't, you know, mind buying shredded cheese. I do shred my own quite often, but I just didn't want to do that for this much mozzarella. And for that chicken bake, we need a lot of mozzarella, so I just got this very large bag. And I also got two different kinds of Parmesan. Um, I just got this freshly shredded Parmesan, which I like, and then I needed some of the shaved Parmesan, so I got that too, so that's for a recipe.
And I think that is it for the code stuff. Now, let me get this put away, and I'll be right back with the shelf stuff, the dry stuff. So here is the dry stuff. So you see why the, I had to split it up. I got a lot. So we can just start over here on potatoes. I got these baby Dutch yellow potatoes to go in that Irish stew. And then I just got a very big bag of the russet green giant potatoes just because we use these for mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, and french fries. We can use these anytime. So I got another bag of those. Bread-wise, and I forgot one bread. I got these King Hawaiian sandwich buns because I just love these with pork barbecue. So that um, that's for that. Then I thought throughout the week we could use this um, very nice Italian round um, that's already sliced. I, we can um, use that for sandwiches if we want. And we can also use it for French toast. So I'm going to use that for French toast. The night we have the husband approved steak sandwiches, we're going to be using these hoagie rows by Pepperidge Farm. I forgot the pitas for the gyros, but I will um, go back and get those. I totally didn't mean for to forget them either. And how could I with all this bread? But somehow I managed. Pasta wise, I used the bow tie pasta that we had the other night, so I got another Da Vinci bow ties. This is just the normal, um, normal pasta, not wheat. And then I got two things of the Da Vinci um, elbow macaroni. We use a lot of elbow and macaroni, so I got two, and um, I'm sure we'll use those coming up. For those breakfast cookies I was talking about, you need mini chocolate chips, so I've got two bags of those for that recipe. Um, then I got two cans of the Bush's um, Shelly green beans. I just like these the best, and we used a couple cans out of the pantry, so I thought I'd get a couple more. And then I got two cans of the organic diced fire roasted tomatoes. We love these, and I use them in all kinds of different stuff, so I got two of those. And then junk food-wise, I got some Pop Secret popcorn. Jackson loves this. I got some sweet... Swiss rose that my husband and I both love. And then the boys like honey buns every once in a while. I know it's not, you know, ideal, but I still think it's okay to let your kids have some sugar here and there. Um, we still balance it out with fruits and vegetables and good dinners. I also got some of this McCormick's Brown Gravy. I use this out of convenience for my meatloaf. Super simple, and it's just you know, convenient. And then I got one case of Mountain Dew for Scott and I and one case of Coke for Scott and I or 12 pack. Um, but we also love the Welch's 100% white grape juice and I got two of those because Jackson can drink this stuff like water. And then I got Jackson just one Sprite because I'd rather him have the juice than the Coke. He knows he's not allowed to have either of those. And then I got another package of our coffee. This is the House Blend by Javalia. And it's one of my absolute favorites. So I got that. We were running low. And then I seen this Ghirardelli Premium Hot Cocoa Mix. This is the chocolate mocha. And I know it's warming up a little bit, but I still like hot cocoa sometimes. I thought I would give this a shot and see how good it was. And then the Ruffles Original Potato Chips were two for five, so I got two of those, which should last us a couple weeks. And then I also got me some of these Terra Sweet Potato Chips, um, because I love sweet potatoes, and I thought those might be tasty to try. And then coming around to this side, I'm going to be doing some baking this week, so I went ahead and got a larger sugar. This is, how many pounds? Ten pounds of Dixie Crystal sugar. Um, and then... Households wise, I needed some more um, dishwashing soap. This one by Cascade is my absolute favorite. I've actually made my own laundry or my own um, dishwasher soap and laundry soap. I haven't done it in a very long time, but when I'm not buying it, these are my favorite. We needed some more red plastic cups because we use these all the time. These are just the hefty ones. And with the hefty ones, um, I will rinse those or I'll wash them out and use them once or twice, opposed to the ones from the Dollar Tree where you where I really only get one use in. I got some more of the phone cups that we like for our coffee in the morning sometimes, especially if we're, you know, getting up and leaving early. I needed some more hair ties. I got these scrunchy ones. These are the no damage, and they're my favorite, so I got some more of those. 
I also needed some more parchment paper, so I got another Reynolds um, parchment paper wrap so that, that we will be using um, very soon because I'm out. I also got another Tide. I was looking for cheer. They didn't have it. So I went ahead. I had a coupon for this. I went ahead and got another Tide. And then I think it was really stupid of me, but I got this family circle. I think I have a free subscription to this, and I just bought it. So whatever, but um, I haven't been to my post office box in a while, and I just wanted to see if there was anything in there that, you know, interested me. And then lastly, I got a new basil. Now, my basil in the kitchen is super long, stringy. Um, I'm going to plant it outside, but I wanted another one for inside, and then I got this one. I just have to remember to trim it. Otherwise, um, it will grow long like the other one. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. It's going to go outside, and I should have been trimming it long before now, but I'm going to let it go outside and then replant the other one in that same container. So that is my large family food haul for this week. I'm sure it will take us from this week into next week also. A lot of things come up. We switch meals around. So all the meat, ex with the exception of the bacon and the bologna, goes straight into the freezer. So I don't worry about it, you know, going bad before we have a chance to use it. So I hope you got some dinner ideas, and I hope you liked watching this haul. I love watching food hauls um, as much as anybody else. I watch them quite often, um, and I thoroughly enjoy them. So if you make food hauls, um, either on your blog, um, with pictures, or with videos, you can leave me a link below. I'll definitely check yours out, too, especially if you're in another country. Those are really my favorites. Just seeing what other countries have in their grocery stores is so fun. So, I'm going to get all this put away. You can check out my channel for more videos. There's over 600 videos over there. Lots of food hauls. I've been doing these for years. So, you know, you can check out some um, different ones in case you need some menu ideas. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss any videos. And make sure to share these with your friends if you enjoyed this video. There's more on my blog over at kjaggers.com. You can check that out whenever you'd like. I got a lot of work to do. I got to get this stuff put up. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great week. Bye bye.